An integrated team of investigators from the United Nations Mission in South Sudan, the ceasefire and transitional security arrangements monitoring mechanism, and the Joint Monitoring and Evaluation Commission has visited the scene of an attack on aid workers along the Juba Pibo Road. Six humanitarian workers with the National Grassroots Relief and Development Organization were gunned down on Sunday morning at the location, about 53 kilometers outside South Sudan's capital, Juba. The ambush took place approximately 3.4 kilometers from Bandingilo National Park and brings the total to 88 workers killed in South Sudan since the December 2013 crisis. The three South Sudanese and three Kenyan nationals were ambushed in their vehicle as they were on their way to Pibo. Speaking on Tuesday, March 28th, after their arrival back to Juba by the investigators, the head of the United Nations Mission in South Sudan, David Shira, condemned the killings and said investigations were being carried out. Shira highlighted that the government was cooperating with investigations. Uh, we utterly condemn the, the deaths of these aid workers. Uh, these are people who have been helping the people of South Sudan and have been brutally gunned down. Uh, we don't know the motive or what the reason for it. But today we sent a, a patrol to the area where they, where they were killed to begin an investigation into what led to these deaths. Uh, they are in a, an area which is controlled by the South Sudanese government. We, we had cooperation from the South Sudanese government, but we anticipate and expect a full investigation by the government as well into why these people were, were murdered in the way they were. In the past two months, there has been a sharp increase of attacks on aid workers and their premises, mirroring a rapid deterioration in the security and economic situation of the country.